Hello everyone, this is Pampi Morandante again and today I'll be talking about derivation of quadratic formula. The quadratic formula here, this is the one that we are going to uh, find out where did we get this formula, okay? Before going further, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, here we go. The standard form of a quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Then to solve for x here, we are just going to transpose or transfer c on the other side. So the equation becomes ax squared plus bx is equal to minus c. Then divide both sides by a. So we have this x plus b over ax is equal to negative c over a. The next thing to do is I'm highlighting this coefficient here b over a because we are going to look for the third term here to make it a perfect square trinomial. Okay. And how to find out that. So remember the perfect square trinomial. We are just going to divide this expression, the term here, which is b over a, divide this one by, okay, again, we are going to look for a perfect square trinomial here. So uh, the expression b over a here will be divided by 2, and then you square it, and then that becomes b over a times 1 over 2, get the reciprocal of 2, which is, now we have here b over 2a squared, and then we are going to simplify this, that becomes b squared over 4a squared. Now, we are going to place this, as our third term here in both sides of the equation, of course, okay, to make it a perfect square trinomial, and we have to balance it, okay, so there you go. We are putting it in both sides of the equation, and this becomes x plus b over 2a, and then square, that's perfect square trinomial already, and then we combine this two, finding out the LCM or the LCD, 4a squared and a is 4a squared, b squared minus the, the numerator here now is 4ac, okay? And then after which, we are going to get the root in both sides of the equation. Of course, when you get the root, that becomes, uh, we put plus and minus there, okay? Because there are two possible answers for quadratic equation. Then, see how it is being done now. I'm just copying everything over 4a squared. And then after this 4a squared there, we can simplify that. Because the root of 4a squared, we are going to transfer this one first on the other side. That becomes negative. And then there you go, that 4a squared there becomes over 2a because the root of 4a squared is over 2a. And then we combine them since they have the same denominator. So there you go, we, have, we now have this quadratic formula. This is how we derive the quadratic formula, okay? That's it, guys. Thank you so much. And that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in my next vlog. Bye-bye.